Good morning, Terrans. This is your favorite alien speaking on Saturday, August 11th, with my friend Bubba. Hey, Bub. Bub. Yoo-hoo, Bubba. Well, Bubba's been busy. He had a visit to the vet this week, and he's now getting to be back to being Mr. Bubba. But he's still hunting for his possum. Anyway, I got to do a uh, video. I did one the other day for Mr. DeGracia. Invented how he would vent to Miss Laura Ingrams. But today I'm going to do a uh, message from me, the alien, to her. To express to her why she has watermelons for brains. And most of the Terrans do. Especially Americans. And here's the situation with the immigration problem that she laments on her video. So here we go, with further ado, dear Miss Ingram, this is your favorite alien speaking. This time I'm speaking as me, the alien. Your issue with immigration is a very complex one that we had to deal with a thousand years ago in my home planet. If you ever read my videos on YouTube, I hope you do, because it'll give you an understanding of where I'm coming from. It's uh, too complex to say here. But I'll try to give you a generalization, okay? The problem that you had is, like Mr. DeGracia put it, you put all Tom, Dick, and Harry's in here, and you can't do that. Immigration should be a person that wants to live in your country, the United States, should, A, follow the laws that were established by the founders of that country, B, the language, C, the customs, and D, forget about everything else that he had. He is a willing to live his life in this country, so therefore his uh, way of life has ended for him. You don't operate that way. You tell people here that come in, you have the right to express your beliefs, express your religion. They don't. You do that. That's what causes your problems, Miss Ingram, is the beliefs that you guys got. The Constitution does not apply to anybody who comes in here. The Constitution should only apply to you native citizens and second and third generation uh, immigrants that Come in here. And by the way, when you become an immigrant here, resident alien, you shouldn't be allowed to send money back to your homeland to go visit your homeland for extended times. You should have a maximum of 10 days at your homeland every four years or so. If you look at Mr. DeGracia, he never went back to Panama only to visit his grandparents as they were living. He hasn't been to Panama since 2008, which was the time, or 2005, pardon me, which uh, was the time that his grandmother was living. His grandfather passed away in 2004, so 2005 is the last time he's been. He got sick, and economically he could not afford to go back in Panama when his grandmother died in 2008. So this is what I'm saying, Miss Ingram. Four. The problem that you guys have here, and it's not only you Republicans, it's the Democrats, and everybody who has this stupid way of thinking. Like I said, your civilizations all over this planet has to reboot themselves. And if you want to know what that is, contact me. We had to do it a thousand years ago, and only 25 people started to reboot themselves, and only 500,000 did. And our population was 14 billion, billion, Miss Ingram. And all of them killed themselves, just like you guys will. Well, if you had a chance, but you won't get that chance because you got an enemy out there that wants to slaughter you because you did something back in the past that pissed them off. But back to immigration. The way you have to do it is, like I said, with the A, B, C, and D, and E, and F, and G, and so on. You have to establish a way of doing things. You haven't done that. You bring every Tom, Dick, and Harry here. 
Look what happened. You're trying to follow the Romans, remember? And look what happened to them. You haven't learned from their history. That's exactly what's happening to you. Like you said, your demographics is changing. The Romans, they acquired territory after territory after territory. And the people with them, they let go of Rome all the way uh, around the Roman Empire without any prejudice to what cause they like what causes that would cause and what effects that would cause. This is what you do. You let the people roam around your country here with uh, not speculating the causes that you would have. And look at what you're having. You got Koreatown. You got Chinatown. Uh, you got people from uh, Syria, people from Afghanistan, people from Saudi Arabia, and you let them all in here. 9-11, remember that? That's a cause of immigration. And your stupid practices abroad. Because remember, people have a long memory. You guys don't have a long memory. You guys eat your, your hamburger and forget that you ate it in the morning. So this is what I'm saying, Miss Ingram. I can elaborate further. If you want to meet me, just find out who I am, where I am, and I'll be on your show. But there is no politics I'm going to talk to on your show. If you come in with your stupid Republican way of doing things, this is the way an American should be talking. More or less, a Terran. So talk to me like a Terran. And I'll talk to you like the way we do on our home planet. Because we have a federation of 78 planets. And 27 of those planets are not humanoid. Okay? And we have a federation that's worked for 800 years. And we got new members coming in. How do you become a member? Well, I can tell you that too. But you guys wouldn't qualify as a member here. Hell no. You guys are still, as we used to call you guys, and I say it on my other videos, pain in the ass turns. Although I say it with uh, affection because I've come to understand you guys since I've been here. But when I go back home, that's not going to change my decision about helping you out of the Mushka situation. I've been there sitting there waiting for the Mushka to clobber you. But I never um, moved a muscle to help you because of your way of thinking, Miss Ingram. You are responsible for your descendants' demise in 2065. Thanks.